Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to connect your Loop Deck Live S to a PC. So the first thing that you should do is of course connect it with the USB-C cable. It comes included but you can also use any other one. It's attached here at the top. Now we can see this like standby screen and we can begin by downloading the software which we'll find in the browser of course. So let's go to Loop Deck. By the way, the software is available for both Windows and Mac OS. You can just type in Loop Deck Live S software and go to loopdeck.com website. Then you'll see uh, two different like versions for both for either Mac OS or Windows. Um, the current version, as I'm recording it right now, is 6.1.1. If you want, if the newer version doesn't really work. Um, with some plugins included, including Razer plugins, then you may want to get the 5.9.1 version, but I'm gonna download the current one. Let's just wait until it gets downloaded. And now since I have it, I can open the exe file and go through the initial setup process. Click on next, then accept the license agreement, which you can read here. Click on next and click on install. Okay, and now the uh, process is finished, so I can click on finish. And the app, I think, won't open itself, so let's find the loop deck, which was just installed, and wait until it opens. No, actually it is, I think, opened. Um, if I click on something, then it should open it. Yeah, so um, I don't really know. It's hard for me to, to say that now. Um, I also can't see the loop deck, um, the loop deck software here. So let's try opening it again. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna get back to you when um, I find out the uh, actual solution. And now after um, after trying to, to do some more stuff, I've restarted the computer. And uh, I think that the next thing, if it still doesn't work, um, what we should do is go to control panel, uninstall a program, and uninstall that, then we re will reinstall it. And actually I'm gonna uninstall the Logi plugin service as well, but first the loop deck. So let's uh, get rid of that. Just click on it and click on uninstall. Uh, which is uninstalling the Logi plugin service. 
verify if I don't have anything else in it so I see that it's fine now. So what I should do is just point to the file, to download and reinstall it. I hope that the file is interrupted though because if it is, if it is then I unfortunately will need to download it again. So I really hope that it's all fine. And finally, we're into that, so actually this was the solution to the whole problem, just reinstalling the app. I'm just gonna skip introduction, I don't think it is necessary. Then, next, finish, and we can see we are in the app, and I'm gonna do a quick walk through, uh, through these like things in the app, so let's just continue. Here you can see the device you're connected to, so if you have different ones, you can select them as well. Then you can change profiles in this tab, so you can have several pro uh, profiles. You can either switch between them manually, you can I think also add a button to uh, your display that will switch between profiles and you can compare it to books like you have different books and all of them have pages it's the same with profiles and uh, on the profile you can have up to four uh, pages that you can either switch between with the buttons or by sliding left and right then there is also um, the profile that you can switch between so another profile will have completely different pages and they can be either changed manually or triggered by a certain application that's opened and once that application is opened it will change the whole profile so that's great then workspace you can change different workspaces so that's a whole like other let's compare it to a library um, of, of profiles then um, here you have all the buttons that you can add to your uh, to your loop deck there's lots of it there's lots of customization options like you can see the custom a keyboard shortcut open application open web page and stuff these are quite uh, normal and they are also stream deck and all the stuff but desktop you can find clear clipboard html decode clipboard encode clipboard unformat clipboard mm, like keyboard numeric pad task switcher and there's lots of things like daily yeah or activate something and media uh, toggles system stuff like emoji keyboard or magnifier can be also enabled that way but magnifier can be also enabled with a keyboard shortcut so you can as well select a keyboard shortcut and use it as a magnifier but of course it's better to have it simply uh, easily set through here so you don't have to add the keyboard shortcut yourself then here you can add new actions by simply dragging the, the one that you want there are also loop deck device actions like device appearance, like LED brightness, device backlight, you can change the um, dial page, you can see there are dials which you can also um, adjust to like, system volume, screen brightness, then you can change colors of the LED lights for um, these buttons. Let's change it to red, you can see it immediately changes here. Then if I add another page, I can cycle between them by either swiping or I think I can also assign this button to, um, to a page. So if I, if I set it to page 2, now I can switch between the pages like that, but I think the more convenient way 
find it. So here you can adjust something else instead. Hoping it comes by an accident. Uh, that's why I don't like the touch play here because I think something like that. But some of the people will like it. This can also be adjusted if you right click on it. So the ones that have like circles here, they will be for toggles, uh, and there's not much of them right now, but if you get some plugins from the marketplace, I'm pretty sure that you'll actually be able to find something good. So it's gonna move uh, the mm, window from here, so you can see there is the marketplace right here, you can download different um, plugins. And I hope that that video helped you. There will be also other videos on our channel about this device. So if you're wondering how to, for example, make a, make a folder like this one, then feel free to watch these videos. That's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.